Hi, all my friends. Today we're going to be reading in the book of Proverbs, starting with chapter 8. Uh, just want to say I had an enjoyable evening with uh, Juliana, and she has thoroughly enjoyed her celebration of her birthday. And um, so making her happy makes me happy. And uh, I, I just I love doing things for people that, that I love that make them happy, then I'm happy and I feel connected with them and, um, you know, uh, I guess that's just because, you know, that's where my heart is anyway. Um, okay, um, and I hope you get a chance to hear the song, I Will, great song by Citizen Way. They do an excellent job. You can check them out on YouTube. Um, and you can check out my interpretation of it. It's my first run through, so uh, maybe I'll do it again later when I get a chance. Um, I try to try to make it a little bit better if I can. Um, nothing else that I wanted to talk about as far as news goes. I just wish we would be more supportive of our president and just you know do. I really do believe that his heart is in the right place, uh, that he does care for the American people, that he, I think he's done nothing but show that he does, and um, that he does know what he's doing, um, even though a lot of people don't give him credit because he hasn't been a politician, but he understands the world and how it works, and uh, I think that's why God allowed him to be president at this particular time. And so I think that we should be praying for him and his family and um, uh, as the uh, Lord instructs us to do. And um, anyway, so that, that's just my thoughts for the day. Uh, so we are in Pro Proverbs and chapter 8 has to do with wisdom. It's excellency, riches, eternity, and desirableness so does not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice she standeth in the top of high places by the way in the places of the paths she crieth at the gates the entry of the city at the coming in at the doors Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and you fools, be ye of understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understandeth and right to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies and all the things that may, desire, may be desired are not to be compared to it. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions the fear of the lord is to hate evil pride and arrogancy and the evil way forward mouth do i hate counsel is mine sound wisdom i am understanding i have strength by me kings reign and princesses decree justice by me princesses rule and nobles even all the judges of the earth i love them that love me and those that seek me early shall find me riches and honor are with me yea durable riches and righteousness my fruit is better than gold yea than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I lead in the way of righteousness 
in the midst of the path of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasure. The Lord possesses me in the beginning of his way before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he compassed upon the face of the depths, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the waters should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth, I was by him. As one brought up with him, I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. Now therefore hearken unto me, O you children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction, and be wise, refuse it not. Blessed is a man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. For who so findeth me, findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul, and all that hate me love death. Cool. <laughs> wow. Chapter 9 Discipline and Doctrine of Wisdom Custom and Error of Folly Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn out her seven pillars. She has killed her beasts. She has mingled her wine. She has also furnished her table. She has set forth her maidens. She's cried upon the highest places of the city. Who so is simple? Let him turn to hither. As for him that wanteth understanding, she is said to him. Come and eat of my bread, and drink of the wine which I have mingled. Forsake the foolish, and live. Go in the way of understanding. He that reproveth a scorner getteth get to himself shame. And he that rebuke, rebuked a wicked man getteth himself a blot. Reprove not a scorner lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. For by me the days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself, but if thou scornest, thou alone shalt bear it. A foolish woman is clamorous, she is simple, and knoweth nothing. For she sitteth at the door of her house on a seat in high places of the city, to call passengers who go right on their ways. Whoso is simple, let him turn to hither. And as for him that wanteth understanding, she is said to him, Stolen waters are sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. But he knoweth not that the dead are there, and that her guests are in the depths of hell. Uh, 
Uh, chapter 10. The Proverbs of Solomon, a wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is heaviness of his mother. Treasures of the wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivered from death. The Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he cast away the substance of the wicked. He becometh poor and dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. He that gathered in summer is a wise son, but he that sleepeth in harvest is a son that causes shame. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covereth in the mouth of the wicked. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall not, sorry, shall rot. The wise in heart will receive commandments, but a prating fool shall fall. He that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perverteth his ways shall be known. He that winketh with the eye causes sorrow, but a prating fool shall fall. The mouth of the righteous man is a well of life, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Hatred stirs up strife, but love covereth all sins. In the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found, but a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the fool ish, is near destruction. Rich men's wealth is his strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. The labor of the righteous tendeth to life, and the fruit of the wicked to sin. He is in the way of life that keepeth instruction, but he that refuses reproof erreth. He that hidden hatred with lying lips, and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. In the multitude of words there wanteth not sin, but he that refraineth his lips is wise. The tongue of the just is as choice silver, and the heart of the wicked is little worth. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. The blessing of the Lord is maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. He is a sport to fool to a fool to do mischief, but a man of understanding hath wisdom. The fear of the wicked it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. As the whirlwind passes, so is the wicked no more, but the righteous is an everlasting foundation. As, a vi as vinegar to the teeth, as smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to them that send him. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom, but the forward tongue shall be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked speaketh forwardness. And there I have to stop. Chapter 11. It's a lot to take in and with Proverbs. More um, I mean, you can spend hours and hours in this book.